Lewis, I mean, what a brilliant thing to do. And, and, and it is wonderful that you've achieved all of this. But at the beginning of your story, you know, this all started with you as a child and going through something alone, really, and missing out on that childhood and that school that, that many other children have. So, so what was that time like for you? Uh, it was a real struggle for me and, of course, my family around me because yeah. it sort of put them in a difficult place because they, they just wanted me to be happy and yeah. to have friends and just enjoy life and be, like, just a normal kid. And why was it hard not to have those friendships? Because you were dipping in and out of school. It was just a difficult time where I was just in and out. Um, obviously not a good thing. So well, I suppose what happens is that you have a, a bunch of mates and then you have another long stint in hospital and you come back out and they've all moved on yeah. and then you yeah, start exactly. again and that just keeps exactly. happening. Yeah, yeah, that's And really for, for you as a, a family as well, I mean, you will have noticed all of that. You'll have seen him go through all of that. Yeah, it's really hard. Um, I mean, secondary school is when it really had an effect because in primary school, as a parent, you help make friendships and you invite children around for dinner and you talk to the parents. And in secondary school, you don't see another parent, and so it's really difficult. And, and it's up to the, the, uh, the children to make the friends. And yeah. Lewis would make a friend, then get poorly, get taken off into hospital, yeah. and they, they'd think he'd left school. Yeah, yeah, of and course. So when he came back, they'd be talking about the cinema they'd been to, or this or that, and Lewis would be going, ah, uh, he just didn't know what was going on, because the friendship group, just like you said, had moved on and progressed. And you were thinking, I can't be the only kid like this. Yeah, exactly. I, I just thought at that time, because it got to the point where I just sort of had enough and I, I wanted to create something and do something about it. So I just thought there's so many other children out there that are in similar situations. They spend a lot of time out of school or college or whatever, and they must be in exactly the same situation as me. They won't have friends. And they just, they just want that chance to make friends in any way, shape or form. Yeah. And actually overwhelmed by the response that you got because what you did at the age of only 14 was you created Friend Finder. And this started off on Facebook, first of all, and the response was incredible. Yeah, it, it was insane, to be honest. Just at the age that I was, and then I just created Friend Finder, which was a small organisation at the time. And then after everything just... Um, going through all the stuff and as the days went on it, yeah. it was just madness all the contact that we got from people and all well, sorts. just having the idea to to do the prom you say you say was your light bulb moment in uh, in hospital uh, yeah. and I think it was on your it was on your 16th birthday you posted the uh, posted the YouTube video yeah yeah it was just a random sort of idea that um, I had at the time and then I'd, to be honest, I just thought that it would be just a small video, have a couple of views. No. 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 How, How many views? views? It was 31 million views. My goodness me. And, I mean, the, 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 the prom was incredible. You raised £15,000 to get you kick-started. You managed to get 75 suits donated, 320 prom dresses. I mean, yeah. you really are the fairy godmother. That's quite <laughs> incredible. Um, and you put this night on. And, and, you see, that's where you come into it, because you had a same same thing for you, really. It's completely separate lives, but parallel universe, really. You were very poorly as a child. You were diagnosed with a brain tumour at four chemo and radiotherapy, um, left you deaf and blind on your right-hand side at the age of 10, you had a stroke. So really, a lot of your childhood, you say, was spent at home in your bed very poorly. Yeah. So to be invited to this prom at 16, what, what was it like for you? It was just, I've always dreamed of having a prom because in every school you have your prom and it's, it's normal, isn't it? You have your prom and you get to dress up and you get to feel special. Yeah. And at my school, we don't really do that. We're a very small school because right. we're a special needs school. So we don't really have that because mm. getting to leave school is like, congratulations, but you don't really get to party. Nobody's really ever well enough to... To do that. To do that. And you walked out the red carpet. Um, yeah, and I just felt so special. And for Lewis to actually give me that chance, I just... It was really like a dream come true so for what me. Was the, what was the night like? It was amazing. Yeah, to be honest, I didn't expect a response such as what I got, and I, I was amazed. And just the, all the positive feedback we got from it 
And from the prom night, it was just insane. And then it just sort of led from there. Well, it just grows, doesn't it? Yeah, you've, got, it you've done grows, Halloween parties. I mean, all sorts of things that you've... It's not just proms. Yeah, yeah. And the idea now is to go global. Yeah, that is our plan. That is our plan at the moment, to eventually launch it global. Well, what wow. a brilliant idea. I mean, there are so many children worldwide, like you, and teenagers and young adults that are missing out on so much. So just by having that idea, you must be a very proud mum. Really, really proud mum. It was amazing on the night watching the other parents. You know, they were watching their children have fun for the first time and, you know, yeah. they were crying. The parents, the kids were laughing and dancing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it was an incredible and I'm so proud of it. I bet you are. Um, what a pleasure to meet you. It Thank really you very is. much. It's a brilliant Lovely idea. Lovely to meet you too. Lovely to meet you too.